1,970, 2,087, 8,764, 9,500, those are the amounts withdrawn from the bank account of an 83-year-old woman. And after six months, the total was $420,000. Her family says every time a huge amount of money was taken out, it was fraudulent. They cannot understand how their mother's bank let it happen. But this story shows no amount triggers a red flag internally. The family turned to Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen to get some answers. Burke, the family believes ESL knew there was a problem with the account. That's because the family says ESL knew the account was compromised 11 months ago. The family says ESL closed that account and got their mother a new one. But for six months this year, the bank statements show 76 withdrawals, totaling almost half a million dollars. I asked Darlene Gropp to read off the withdrawals from her mother's ESL bank account. 1,970, 6,259, 7,689. The transaction start in January. 9,500, and that's just the first page. There's three more pages. 4,600, 7,896. Each time the money got transferred to accounts at Wells Fargo Bank and Valley Bank, none of which belonged to Anna Yaklowski. 6,759. The daughters had no idea this was happening until two weeks ago when they decided their mother needed help with her finances and they had a meeting at her ESL branch and the clerk gave them the statements. Did you think withdrawals of that amount would raise some red flags? Absolutely. It was so clear and obvious. And, and when Darlene t was working with the representative of ESL, she made it clear. She circled those knowing just with her eye not being part of the fraud department, that those were fraud expenses and activities. So it was very clear and obvious that this was not normal activity on any account, especially that of an 83-year-old woman. ESL limits the amount you can withdraw from an ATM at 1,000, but the bank told me there is no limit on withdrawals from an account and no single amount triggers a red flag. Alerts are based on account activity, which allows us to identify the suspicious transactions no matter how big or small the dollar amount, ESL wrote in an email. A withdrawal of more than 10,000 must be reported to the federal government. But the most that got taken here was 9,800. The bad guys knew what they were doing. What is it that you want our audience to know and understand? How easily this can be done. And really, it's truly about prevention because once you're in this situation, reimbursement and assistance and help is nearly impossible. So the two sisters there filed the police report with Webster Police. Webster Police say they're still investigating this. They filed the complaint against DSL. They actually think the loss is greater than 420000 because they could only get the statements for this year. So they have no idea or they wonder how many withdrawals happened between September and December of last oh. year. And uh, it gets worse. You want to hear how it gets worse? No. Yeah. Okay, so these bad guys, they got into her Social Security account. Oh, they changed everything. They took every single Social Security check she earned from September till April until the government froze it. And when the sisters oh. call the, the federal government to say, hey, we got to deal with this, and they give their mother's address, the people in the Social Security Administration says, that's not the address on file. We can't help you. Oh, oh my goodness. Isn't that unbelievable? How, Awful. How did they get into her account? Did they clone a in debit card place. or what did they do? So it happened last September. The, the daughters believe their mother, who is a business owner and a longtime customer of DSL, by the way, clicked on a bad email, either some phishing thing or, uh, or hey, we need to reboot your computer. That's how they and think they got in. And that's all it takes. Yep. And is ESL oh. giving the money back? So far, 23000 but that's because they only go back 60 days. This has been going on for 12 months. All right. Oh. Thanks so much, Berkeley. Heartbreaking.